Good morning, brothers and sisters, and thank you for joining me for another devotional session. Today, we are going to speak on obedience to Christ and just how important that is. Let us begin by going before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day that you have blessed us with. We thank you for waking us up this morning that we may see this new day. For the sunshine, for the birds, for the fresh air that we're able to breathe, and most importantly, for life. For the opportunity each new day to put the mistakes and the past and all of the things that we have done before behind us and to chart a new course walking with you and not away from you. So Lord, I pray that this morning's devotional experience will be one that draw others near to you, that you will receive the glory, that you will receive the honor, and that throughout it, persons' lives may be touched for your kingdom and for your glory. So we praise you this morning, Lord. We worship you and we thank you for what you are about to say through me, Lord, this morning. So use me, Lord, and may my words reflect you, your kingdom, and what you want your people to hear today. This I pray in the name of your most precious Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, brothers and sisters, so as I mentioned before this morning, we are going to talk about obedience and how important it is to be obedient. And in light of this, I want us to look at two scripture verses before we get into the devotional. The first is taken from the Old Testament, 1 Samuel 15, verse 22. And I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. And Samuel said, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Surely to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams. And the second verse I want us to look at this morning comes from the New Testament, from John, the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 15. And this one is a very simple one. And Jesus is speaking here. And he says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So on the topic of obedience, we are seeing, whether it be the Old Testament or the New Testament, that we are called to live lives of obedience. We are called to walk the narrow path and to follow our Savior Jesus Christ wherever he may lead us. Many times we are afraid to go to God and to truly submit our lives to him because we are afraid of what he might tell us to do. We are afraid that he might ask us to do something that we find uncomfortable to give up something that we love so dearly, to go somewhere far, which is uncomfortable for us, where we don't know what to expect. And because of that, a lot of times we stay in our comfort zones. We stay where we know what is to be expected. But that is not being obedient to Christ, and it is also not walking by faith. We are called to walk by faith and not by sight. And if we are truly walking by faith, then we do not have to know what is coming next. But we have to know that our Lord, our Savior, loves us so much that He will never ask us to do anything that will hurt us in the long run. And He will never ask us to go anywhere that He has not already prepared the way for. Our God sees all. He knows all. He is the God of the beginning and the God of the end the Alpha and the Omega. So while we may worry, and while we may think of all the possible things that can go wrong, we need to know that our Lord and Savior has already seen these things. He already knows these things. And so all we need to do is trust and obey. As the song says, trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. So we need to trust that our Lord and Savior loves us and that he will protect us, that wherever he sends us, that he has already prepared that way for us. And so we cannot say that we love him 
if we then decide what we're going to obey and what we're not going to obey. I heard something once that has stuck with me forever. I can't remember exactly where I heard it. But the individual said that partial obedience is not obedience. Similarly, delayed obedience is not obedience. So if God is calling you to do something, let's say he says that he wants you to go out somewhere and share the gospel with someone and you're not so comfortable doing it. So you decide that you're going to do part of it. You're going to hand them a pamphlet, but not actually speak to them, not actually hear that person's heart, not connect with them in any way that will truly allow the Holy Spirit to move in that person's life. Then you have not truly been obedient. Or if God asks you to do something and you say, you know what, God, I'll do it later. Right now, I'm not so ready. God knows when we're ready, even if we don't feel ready. And the reality of it is that most times when God gives us something to do for him, we are not able to do it in our own strength. But through our weaknesses, he is made strong. His strength is shown to others and he gets the glory when we do things that are not humanly possible in the natural. If I go to you and I do something that anybody can do, God is not going to get the glory from it because no one is going to look at the situation and say, oh yes, I definitely see God at work there. They're going to say, I see Shinezi at work there. And then God is not getting the glory and everything that we do should be for the glory and honor of God, not for our own praise. So when God is telling you to do something that is too hard, Trust that if he is speaking to you, that he has already prepared that way for you and that he will give you everything that you need to accomplish the task that he has set before you and that he and he alone will get that glory from it. So I want to encourage you to get in prayer, talk to God, listen to him and listen to what he is asking you to do and then be obedient. And as the first scripture verse spoke of, obedience is better than sacrifice. So while God wants us to sacrifice for him and for the kingdom, and he wants us to give of our finances, of our time, of everything, if we are doing all of those things, but we are not being obedient to God, then we are not truly pleasing our father. So we can give all of the money that we have to charity. We can drop off food for the needy. We can do all of those things that may be a sacrifice for us. But if we are not obeying what God has told us to do, what he has called us to do, then we are not pleasing our father and we are not showing him that we love him. It is wanting to tell the Lord that we love him, but we have to show him. And he says that if we love him, we will obey his commandments. So those commandments range from the ones that are already clear to us from the scripture, like loving our neighbors, loving our enemies, loving him above all else with our heart, our soul, our mind and our strength. But then it goes even further than that. And it tells us to be obedient to whatever he places upon our hearts to do. And in order to hear from God, we have to speak to God. We have to go to him in prayer, pray to him and then have that quiet moment where we listen to hear what he is saying to us. It has to be a conversation. It cannot be a one-way thing where we are just talking to him and making our requests known, but not listening to what he requests of us. So this morning, I just really want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, to be obedient to where God is calling you to move now. During this time that we are living in right now, none of us know what the future holds, but we know that God does. So whatever he is telling you to do, whether it be something small that is really easy for you to do or something extremely monumental that you just do not know how you could ever accomplish, trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. It may not make sense to you right now, but it will make sense in time because his ways are higher than our ways and he does not think the way we think but his ways are higher, they're better. So we just need to trust him, obey him, have faith in him. Not just random faith, not faith in ourselves, but faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
So be encouraged this morning. Share this message with someone that you feel will benefit from it and go forth and be obedient to what the Lord is calling you to do today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this devotional moment that we are able to have with you this morning. Lord, I pray that each person listening will listen with an open heart and an open mind, ready to walk in obedience to what you are calling them to do. Lord, you are building your army here on earth, Lord, and you need your people to be obedient. We need to listen to your commands. We need to walk as you lead us. So Lord, I pray that we will read your word and that we will pray and fast and come to you as you are leading us and walk with you and allow you to be the only one, the only source that we go to for leadership and guidance. You will speak through your people, you will speak through your word, but ultimately, may we know that whatever we are listening to is coming from you, Lord. So lead us, guide us, and direct us. Give us an obedient spirit. And may we truly and sincerely do all that we do for your glory and your glory only. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning for today's devotional. I wish you a blessed and enjoyable day ahead.